check that. Can you hear anything out of there? Okay, because it just, you see how this plugged in? Mm -hmm. Can't be plugged all the way in. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm like, the up. Okay, good. Can't be plugged all the way in. <laughs> what? We got it. <laughs> okay. We, we good, we good. Yeah, things are clear now. We good. <laughs> yeah, it's clear now. Yep, yep. Okay, okay. We good, we good. <laughs> so, okay, so. Yup, yup. Told them I'm back on my grind, grind. Told them I'm back on the shine, shine. Told them my niggas we getting and getting and never gonna fuck up behind. Yeah, son. Count, count, count up. Only niggas I trust and that is a must. Uh, just too funny. Why you use my govy? Government of oh, its a rose phantom. <laughs> oh, God, okay. Hey yo, hey yo, what go on my dark nights? My dames, we're back with the next um, reaction for. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry guys. For when, uh, you know, the Edan and. That. I've already watched all of these, okay? So, like, again, you know the channel's more of the gaming. Sometimes I do reactions. This one is, again, because the cousin loves Hedon, but now he's he's getting cooked, so we already know that. And girls here again. And yeah, we're, yeah, we're, so. <sighs> it's a long one, as you can see. Yeah, it's a long one, so. Yeah, we're going to be here for it. We're here for it. And hope you guys enjoy the reactions, because again, I, it's not it's not like a uh, 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 thing that like always happens, you know? It's so random, like even more random than when I stream. So yeah. So or, or yeah, just you know, in in it again, yeah, whatever. Any shut up. Okay, so boom! The scene kicks off with Kakashi, Ino, Choji, and Shikamaru tracking down Team 10's biggest op, Kakuzu, and Hidan. As you can see, we got a much better squad on the scene this time. Much better might be a stretch, but it's an upgrade for sure. I don't know what kind of perk 50 Tsunade was on while making that C tier 4 man squad, but she basically set them up for failure. If I was Shikamaru after that gruesome showdown, as soon as I touched back down, I would have bum rushed Tsunade's office and knocked every blonde hair follicle out of her. But instead, mm -hmm. like the wise man he is, he put all of his energy into getting his get back. As Kakuzu and Hidon continue to walk towards the lead, Hino manages to use her mind transfer jutsu on a hawk to pinpoint their exact location. And just like that, they now have the drop on the zombie combo. So Shikamaru wastes no time putting that big brain of his to use. As Kakuzu and Hidon continue to walk, Shikamaru tries to discreetly extend his shadow stitches to trap both of them. Unfortunately for Shikamaru, they immediately feel his presence and jump out the way. But as soon as they land, two paper bombs come raining down on them. Hidon blocks one with his sight while Kakuzu blocks the other with his hardened arm. But before they could even retaliate, Shikamaru jumps in the air and throws two more paper bombs in their direction. So of course, they instinctually dodge it. But to both of their surprise, the paper bombs didn't detonate at all. And that is when they realize they've been got. Yes sir, let's go. That's too easy. Now as happy as I was watching this, I was still in no mood to celebrate. All I desperately wanted was for Shikamaru to finish finish the job with a quickness but this nigga must have not learned from the last time because homeboy hit the Fairly same not. cocky smirk he Come did when he thought dog. he had heat on the first time he then jumps down and starts explaining to them how he was able to trap them by using his chakra blades and aiming it at their shadow so that it could absorb their chakra and yada 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 now this is cool and all but shikamaru respectfully Shut the fuck up. We not trying to hear that, bro. You should be rearranging this man's face right about now. No law talking, just straight mink, mink, mink. This man had awesome mink, mink, mink. unconscious with his booty tooted up in the that, air. There should be no smiling. You're not mad enough for me right now. After explaining his whole game plan, Shikamaru removes the chakra blades, then proceeds to hit Hidon with his shadow possession juice. He forces Hidon to walk to his sight, then pick it up. Then out of nowhere, Shikamaru starts running, forcing Hidon to charge at Kakazu with his sight. But hold up, how he go from shaking like he got Parkinson's to full on running at top speed. Every time oh, he gets him in the shadow possession jutsu, it looks like he's struggling to even make them move an inch. But now he's Don't mind me, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Reactions, you know how I'm just a <laughs> Okay, back in. Like he's no alive? That doesn't make sense, but you know what? I'ma let it slide. After grabbing his sight and running towards Kakazu, Hidon finally jumps up and gets ready to take off his head. But right as Hidon swings his sight, Kakazu manages to duck out the way. Oh my lord, he's 
niggas gotta counter for everything. It turns out, Kakuzu's arm is able to move independently from his body. This man hid his hand underground during the explosion, then used it to remove the chakra blade that had him stuck. Now we're stuck watching this man reconnect his nasty ass arm. Cameraman had this symbiote twerking in my face for a good 10 seconds. We did not need to see this. Shikamaru also must have been traumatized by that sight because he wasted no time and quickly rushed at Kakuzu while rapidly swinging his sight. Kakuzu continues to dodge the blows, but his back eventually gets pinned to a tree. And that is when Captain Obesity comes crashing down on Kakuzu's <laughs> head with his spiky human bone. Choji then oh. comes sliding out of the dust, and now they're waiting for all the Captain debris to Captain Obesity. But to absolutely nobody's surprised. That shit didn't even make a scratch. Of all the people nope. on this squad, you must have been out of your mind if you thought it was gonna be Choji to make the first dance. Absolutely not. Now Kakuzu's explaining to them that his special ability is being able to harden his body when needed. So to put it short and sweet, physical attacks are essentially useless on him. But mid-explanation, Kakashi pulls up out of nowhere and puts a Chidori in his back. Yes. No. This is what I'm talking about. No. People often underestimate the element of surprise. Stop letting these <laughs> niggas right, get because... full on TED Talks in. Especially when you're working with a time-sensitive jutsu such as Shikamaru. Kakashi can see that Shikamaru's grasp on heat on is slowly slipping away, so he knows he has to act fast. Kakuzu with Kakashi's arm still in his chest meat continues to grind on for me. a bit longer until finally he drops to his knees and collapses on the ground. As big of a victory as this was, there's still no time to celebrate. Kakashi nope. knows Hidan's also not one to mess with, so he quickly boots up his Chidori and runs towards <laughs> him. But right before he could call game, this green-eyed zombie freak kicks Kakashi in his ribcage, sending him crashing into a tree. Like, how? They can't keep yeah, getting yeah, away yeah, with yeah. this. They just won't die. Kakashi just chidori this man through the heart. Even had that man groaning and moaning. And you're telling me he's groaning still alive. And, moaning. and to make things even worse, this man rips off his robe and reveals this ungodly bill. And now the demons are trying to claw their way out of his body. Bro, look at their faces. They are traumatized. Got my man Choji in the back reconsidering his life choices. I feel him though. A sight like this would have had me passing around my resume to every shop and restaurant in the league. This Shinobi lifestyle is. Well, like seriously though, because like look at all that, all them, he's all he's all stitched all over. Man, it was at this moment we found out that you have to take out all those masks because like those are all hearts. Because clearly Kakashi took out one of them. Yep, right in the face, right in the face hole. <laughs> got him, got him good. But yeah, no, all that. <laughs> Excuse me. But all that, no. 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 It's bye, not for me. The bad. demons finally break see? free from yeah, Kakuzu's back, and yeah. now we see four giant black blobs posted up behind him. What the f even are these? Nigga, is that Babadook? Are those Shinigamis? <laughs> what like, am I looking at? Shikamaru's what? shadow possession jutsu finally wears off, and just like that, the zombie duo now has the advantage. But to everyone's surprise, before they could even start throwing hands, the demon with the mask that Kakashi broke suddenly collapses. So now Kakashi knows how to take them down. Just as Kakashi she begins to formulate a plan on how to beat this man. Hidon comes charging in at full force, swinging his sight at him in every which way. Kakashi manages to block and evade all of his attempts to draw some blood, but that's when this Babadook comes flying in out of nowhere, then hits both Hidon and Kakashi with- Eh? He ain't even got Taijutsu. I was just thinking about what um, Phantom was talking about, ah. how he has Taijutsu. He ain't even got Taijutsu. He just swings his sword around. <laughs> Not even a sword of sight. Yeah, well, that's a thing. And because he's so he's so weak with his taijutsu and so weak with the swinging, that's why it's got three blades. One of them must hit. <laughs> like, <laughs> one out of three's gotta get you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Damn. The the phantom and his lover he done. Oh. <laughs> with a wind style pressure damage jutsu. That jutsu was so strong that it causes this huge tornado like wind destroying all the trees around it. But that was just the beginning. Kakuzu well, then uses another one of his Babadooks to boot up this nasty another one of blast, his which he sends right at Shikamaru and Choji. Shikamaru tries to stop the blow, but he was just too slow. Nigga whipped out a scroll talking about some, oh no, too late. Brother, what was your plan here? Cause you were <laughs> definitely watching him charge up that attack for a hot minute. You even whipped out the scroll in anticipation of the attack. So yeah. Oh no! Too late, <laughs> nigga. Man, these ninja. <laughs> How they survive? <laughs> this is too much. It's too like. 
I know I've watched these, all of these, and like it's it's all facts because like this this stuff, watching these things over again from all these guys that redo these videos and everything, I'm just like, how, <laughs> how did any of you actually survive? Like, okay, the writer was like, yes, we need them for more storytelling, like Neji until the war, <laughs> like 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 we're saying. Uh, Os- Osno could have died in the war. Like, could have kept him till the war. Kill him there. And then kill Neji somewhere else. <laughs> like, you know? Or kill Neji's father, you know? Just was that it. Neji's father or was he not his father? Yeah. yeah. Neji's, Neji's father's father already, already died. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They just all look alike. <laughs> <laughs> Racist medicine. <laughs> Okay, moving on. <laughs> so how were you too late? But you know what? I guess quick reflexes isn't really a strong suit. Right before the lightning blast could turn them into bacon, Kakashi jumps in the way and saves them from the devastating blow. I don't even gotta gas him up for real. This just what he do. It's another day in the office for real. Kakashi really the least MVP. But y'all yeah. not ready to have that conversation. My man just jumped in front of 200,000 gigawatts of lightning just to save these ninjas who aren't even his students. That's a yep. stand up guy right there. But you can low key tell that he's getting a little pissed off from carrying the team now because Eno's ditzy self finally comes out no, of her hiding she... spot just to ask right? him if he's all right <laughs> <laughs> she did nothing even up to the end she did nothing all she did was they right there I, i'm in the hawk and i see them they right there that's all she did the whole battle are watch you all her. right <laughs> watch her watch her till the end watch her till the end y'all good <laughs> So Kakashi says in the most annoyed way ever, well, I'm still, I'm still standing. standing. Now to a normal person, that answer might have not raised any red flags. But I have a keen ear for passive aggressive undertone and sarcasm, so let me provide you with it. the translation. Are you alright? <laughs> He's full of it. <laughs> he definitely is now. Let's get that translation. <laughs> No, I'm not all right. You see me fighting for my life against these heathens and you over here still hiding in the trees. Pitch in. Now, after a few more seconds Pitch of in. staring each other down, Kakazu finally breaks the silence and says, You, you saw, saw through the jutsu, jutsu with your Sharingan, but, but what about, about this, this next, next one? one? Then one of his Babadook step forward, opens his mouth, and begins... You know, I love that movie. I really want them to make a second one. Because I love the Babadook movie. That was, that was, I, I watched it, it was great. I watched it the second time and I watched the damn third time. Like, it's a, it's a good movie. Well, I like it, okay? Like, you know? But yeah, the Babadook. So good on, good on you, my dude. This is the same guy, by the way, you know, from the last one. The video and everything will be in the description. But yeah, no, good on you for knowing the Babadook. Let's get it. To hit them with the most intense fire style jutsu I've ever seen. That jutsu was so strong, they were too yeah. stunned to move. They eventually all <laughs> managed to jump out the way and take cover, but Kakashi doesn't even get the chance to land because he done's already on his ass. Kakashi yep. blocks his first swing, then the second. He dodges the third blow by jumping back, then weaves one of his kicks. He done tries to catch him off guard with another swing to the face, but Kakashi blocks both attempts, then jumps over the third. Now yeah. he done really got Kakashi on his heels. You can tell Kakashi's only priority is not to get hit with his blade. They finally <laughs> separate and that's when Hidon gives Kakashi a backhanded compliment talking about some boy, boy you, you really, really are, are good. good. Yeah, he really Let is good cook. and you gonna learn today. The fuck did you think this was? You thought he was sorry? He not awesome. Huh? Hey, okay, all right, that was my bad. I didn't mean to <laughs> disrespect you. He did exchange. You need to leave. <laughs> Damn. Man. Oh. Yeah, well, Kakashi ain't sorry. Like, he became the he became a cut cut English okay. motherfucker. Me and my English horrible. Anyway, back to the video. Change <laughs> comes to an end, and now Kakashi and Team Ten are all huddled up, strategizing their next move. After taking into account everything that's happened so far, Shikamaru is able to conclude that Kakazu has five hearts, and each mass represents one. And of course, this completely checks out. Hence, why the first Babadook died from the lightning blade. Kakazu exactly. then reveals that all five hearts are from ninjas he's defeated, which also makes sense as to why the Babadooks have such a different yet strong chakra natures. But the conversation quickly takes a disrespectful turn when Hidon interrupts and says, you leave ninja barrier dead or what? Knowing Kakazu, he'll totally want us to go digging up for that cash cow of his. Now that comment specifically was enough to get all of them moving, but Hidon didn't stop there. He was already a downer though. Seriously, that guy with the beard went down like it was nothing, you know? You must have been his students then, huh? With a loser like that guy teaching you, you're pretty much screwed. And that one right there, <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> especially with Choji. That boy's uh. face turned red as a tomato. He was ready to crash out for sure, but they managed to hold him back. That was until he done said, You're not all bent out of shape over that chump. Mm, fat so. Yeah, hey, I can't, can't lie. That was a good one. Well, like the, can't call him the F word. No, no, definitely not. Like he, he, like when was the next time that Choji went butterfly? Um, uh, let's think. After this part, it wasn't it? Wasn't the, he doesn't go? He doesn't go here. No, it next wasn't part, the war. Yes, yes. Jesus, he need, he like, went butterfly. He went butterfly at obviously when they were kids. Right? Yeah, yeah. He was trying to master it and everything up before that. We never really got to see him unleash it no not until the war and then he didn't master it until inside the war right? man he should have mastered that because like clean butterfly mode man i mean it just shows it just shows exactly what i was saying earlier um he he lazy ass mofo <laughs> um their 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 sensei who was the son of the third should have been way better but he was also a lazy ass mofo because look at him compared to his dad his dad was an old ass man Still freaking giving hands to anyone who wanted it. Yeah, yeah, so, so yep. Yeah. yeah, no, that's fuck. That's what happens. That's what exactly that's, <laughs> that's what happens. Cause I'm like, I don't remember. He didn't he didn't he go butterfly. So here. much better. Like, <laughs> so much better. If he had mastered that jutsu by that time, damn. Yeah, like shit. This would have been a lot different. Would have been good. Would would oh, actually yeah. been Right there, I might Choking have to add man. that to the collection. Dude said bent out of shape. Get it? Because he's morbidly obese, like he's not in shape. Okay, he can't run. That yeah. comment was Choji's last drop because he breaks free from Shikamaru's grasp and charges at him. Look at that boy, smiling ear to ear, getting ready run. to taste some of his blood. That junk probably tastes like Skittles, cupcakes, and Doritos. He can't <laughs> wait. But right before he could get a sample. I'm sorry, Skittles, <laughs> cupcakes, and Doritos. That is a horrible mix together to taste. Cause uh, it's cheese, the cupcake. That uh, if it's vanilla or dependent. Uh, uh, okay. uh, uh. <laughs> like I like don't like. Also, don't get me wrong. I would definitely like you know have some Skittles. You know after like have a cupcake and you know have some Cheetos. But like. All together in one flavor. Told you would try it. Oh uh, God, no! That's Shikamaru no. uses his shadow possession jutsu to stop him dead in his tracks. So he don jumps up to chop him in half, but Kakashi meets him in the air and blocks him with his kunai. So he don quickly kicks Kakashi to the ground, and now he shifts his focus onto Kakashi again. Shikamaru then releases his hold on Choji and chews him out for being so careless. But my attention was very much elsewhere. Keep the sound he makes when he falls to the ground after being released. Wait, Brother, how are we supposed to take you seriously and you doing shit like this? You deserve every insult that's ever been thrown at you. I just want you to know that. After briefly getting chewed out by Shikamaru, he turns around only to be met with Kakazu's yeah. right Boss. in his face. Yeah. So he gets up and tries to hit Kakazu with a no. fat punch, but Kakazu catches it. You, you should. Away, punches you the food particles uh. out his mouth. Get uh, you. <laughs> the, no, we gotta, we gotta, <laughs> we gotta go back. <laughs> That punch, but Kakazu catches it, flings it away, punches the food Look at that. out his mouth, hits <laughs> him one to the gut, and elbows him so hard that he goes Bing. flying into a tree. Now, like, I don't, I don't know where you thought you was gonna do anything when you saw Kakashi get kicked to the fucking tree, nigga. Like, I'll be, I see you, I'm like, I get up. The fact that he let you get up, I'm like, fuck this, I'm backing up. <laughs> <laughs> he let me get up. That's my situation. <laughs> right? Nah, he's like, I'm gonna throw this hand. <laughs> Nothing. Nothing. Oh, oh, I'm like, I'm gonna get up. You let me get up. I'm gonna escape. Fuck this. <laughs> like, cause I can see your strength. I can see you're stronger than your buddy over there. And I can see you're at least toe to toe with Kakashi Sensei. I'm nowhere near that. <laughs> Let's hope my chunky ass can back the fuck up fast enough. Nah, nah, nigga, okay, yeah. Now getting done up like this was bad, but it happens to the best of Shinobi from time to time, so we could have lived that down. But this next part proved that Choji does not have that dog in him, nor a cat. He got an obese dwarf hamster in him at best. <laughs> this man Kakazu teleports in front of Choji, and once he looks up to see who's in front of him, this was his response. Are you not embarrassed? Have you no shame? Bro, look! He looks like he too, about to piss his pants. Honestly, when he mastered his jutsu, and he like you know his whole like his whole criteria of making his jutsu work. Like, yeah. 
damn, like the bigger he is, the more energy that he absorbs because he gets small and all that fat turns yeah. to freaking chakra. Yeah. Like he could be one of the best. Yeah. If he trained better. Yeah. If he did better. Yeah. Like, That's crazy. why I'm like, yo, when was we? Uh, me. Yeah, go well, yes, but. <laughs> <laughs> We already know these things. The whole damn, the whole damn everywhere is haunted in this place. But we, we just live with it. We just live with it. That's just how it is. And yeah, anyway, back to the. Back hey, to this the is video. beyond no aura. This man is in aura debt. He got to file for aura bankruptcy after this. This was tragic. Shoo, almost made me stop the video. But you know I had to thug it out for y'all. And just for that, y'all already know what. Yeah, no, um, this is hilarious. Cause uh, see, see, we got it fixed. Rather than the last time where we can talk during the video, like I got my shit where you can hear, I can hear we both out of here for this. No, because again, the record re reactions aren't really that much of a thing, and reactions are usually better with more than one person, in my opinion, because you know, you can have conversations and go over and what they remember better than what you remember, because you know, be stupid. And <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> so <laughs> so with that. Yeah, no, and then now when he when he when he talks and it comes in, I'm like, who the fuck? <laughs> so anyway, uh, yeah, that's why as you guys see it, me, yeah, that's anyway. Yep. What to do, bro? You see the timestamp on this video? You know I was working double overtime in that kitchen. Run the like and hit that subscribe. Yes, Please and thank you. Yeah, as you guys saw, yes, run the like, double hit the subscribe for him. Kitchen. Run the like, you know, you and know. hit that subscribe. Please. That done, you know this guy can't get it done. You know, go go follow him, you know, go sub, go watch his videos. They good, you know. I make it more. Pro probably gonna get more, but you know, we we may continue this. Just let us know, you know. But again, it won't be so often, but it will be. Okay. Please and thank you. The cameraman then cuts back to Hidon still chasing down Kakashi. And boy, is he making him sweat. Kakashi still not even attempted to get some hits in. Just straight blocks and dodges. One flip, two flip, three flips. This is not the Olympics. Nigga wanna be Simone Biles so bad. He eventually oh. takes one huge jump to put some distance between him and Hidon. But while up there, he's instantly met with a giant mm -hmm. fireball from this Shinigami. It spams three more fireballs, <laughs> from but this just Shinigami. like vegetables attempted to enter Choji's mouth, they all miss their target. Kakashi jumps onto another branch to try and catch his breath but the lightning babadoo pops up behind him ah. and tries to laser off his ah. Kakashi of course evades that attack too and now he's free falling yeah. through the air before he could even touch the ground like. the wind style babadoo comes flying in out of nowhere <laughs> and starts master. firing off these deep huh? Evasive master. Yeah, yeah. You see that? Yeah, he's just going through. He's just going through. Breath blast. Now I know I've had a lot to say about Donzo's old nigga hot breath jutsu before, but my old mind nigga can't hot even breath. fathom what those smell. Like. You see the power and spice on those blows? I know that smell like some stuff uh. I've never smelled before. Kakashi's probably out there getting a nose full of eternal damnation and tortured souls. Oh no. Nah. Fortunately enough, Kakashi used the falling debris <laughs> around him to dodge <laughs> the attack. But out of nowhere, Hidon Dent comes flying in to try and dig his scythe into his head. So Kakashi quickly jumped out the way. Now all the Babadooks are just punishing this man, just violating him. I mean, straight raw dog, tag team, oh, gang oh, bang oh. this. But somehow, right, some way, no, he miraculously How's makes it out that? of the jumping alive. We then cut back to Choji getting dragged out of Go. a circular indent he made in the tree earlier. Just look at him, man. His limp body just lying there looking pathetic as hell. But hold up, though. Why is he low key caked up? That man got yams for days. Okay, BBL Choji. <laughs> Kakazu then hardens his hand and gets ready to pierce it through all 37 inches of Choji's blub. But before he could make the incision, you know, Kuka throws a kunai at him to distract him, and as soon as he dodges it, Shikamaru uses his shadow possession jutsu to try and capture him. So Kakazu turns around and starts moonwalking his way around his jutsu. The lightning Shinigami quickly rushes to Kakazu's aid by trying to strike him with lightning, but Shikamaru surprises us all and hits this clean dance dance revolution routine to evade all the lightning strikes. That boy did not miss a beat. I didn't even know he had those in him. While Shikamaru's still distracted, Kakazu extends his arm and grabs Zeno 
someone choked you by the Ow. neck, and now Ow. he's just slowly squeezing the life months. out of him, giving them that Ow. same no-name chokeout special. While they're over no. there struggling yeah. for air, Kakashi and Shikamaru are both just trying to stay out of the Babadoop's grasp. That is until this fire style one hits Kakashi in his back, and now hey. our goat is laid out on the branch. He done with his evil laugh. Is so it he though? Walks over to Kakashi, raises no. his sight, then chops Kakashi in half. But of course, with such an easy opening, it did not surprise me at all when it turned out to be a shadow. Exactly. Shikamaru now activating his WIQ. That a dar? Hello. <laughs> What's up, buddy? Love your hat. Love you. Yeah, come say hi. Oh, look at that shirt! Look at that shirt! Say hi to see the camera right there. Just say hi. 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 This is this is the nephew, you know. Yeah. Look at show them the shirt. Show them the shirt. Sonic. Yeah. Sonic and team. Yeah. Nice. Nice. Yeah. But yeah, just uh, well, we have like what about eight minutes left. Or so. Left or so. Q decides to spin back for Eno and the play clean, then proceeds to use this scroll to summon a bunch of water. Now, I can't lie, I was confused watching this the first time, but then I remembered <laughs> it's Shikamaru, so of course I had to let him. <laughs> He's like, wait, why water? That's like, the, let's go. As, as, kids, as kids, you know, we're gonna make like, way. Why? But no, like, we're. Even when I saw it the first time, <clears throat> I ain't gonna lie. Only because of Shikamaru. If anyone else did that, I'd be like, what are you doing? But because of Shikamaru, I'm like, yo, this, man, this man's smart. This man's smart. Like, he's got a huge IQ. Like, let's that's, just leave him alone. Like, that's, what are you doing? That's the thing, because I'm just like, I'm just like, me. If Naruto did it, I'd be like, what the hell? No, you you're not doing now. <laughs> you want somebody to do something you thought it was cool, it's not going to work for you. But yeah, no. As case of watcher, you're going to think, but you're like, yeah, no, Shikamaru, you know, he's he's got something. He's got something. Cook. And boy, did he cook up something delicious because he ends up using Kakazu's lightning Babadook against him. <laughs> See, this is why I let Mr. Big Brain cook. I just know that tight ass ponytail yeah. is improving the blood flow to his brain. What? You see how he <laughs> used the water to help electrocute him tight ass Babadook Hold against on. him. See, this is why I let Mr. Big Brain Brain cook. I just know that tight ass ponytail is improving the blood flow to his brain. What? You see how he <laughs> used the water to help electrocute him? Because the water conducts electricity by using Darwin's, uh, Einstein's, the both of their theories with a neutron and an electron. Bro, real talk though, to all my science majors, wouldn't this move end up electrocuting Eno and Choji as well since the human nope, body can grounded. conduct electricity? Yeah, exactly. But what do I know? The only thing I remember from science is whatever mm. Bill Nye taught me. Shikamaru ends up throwing a paper because, bomb. Because, well, well, that's the thing. Because Technically, it should but the thing is also if we're talking like and this is what where, where you like you, you you hit a fine line of fantasy and and, and what's real Re reality right? exactly reality right the thing is you could you could say so much different things that play on this the fact that he's actually his infinity is earth style so it could hurt him but not the people he's touching you could also say because he has him strength and strangling and strangling the, and stretched the, out with the, with the, Things in his arms shit, it's yeah. not good not enough to really reach him because it really because the thing the case of it the you got to think of how much volts are gonna are going through him and with the case of how what the kind of shot they're shooting it's obviously going to be a strong amount of volts okay but going through him himself he's obviously going to try and like stop it also at the end of the day who cares if it's going to hit them they, they nobody's <laughs> exactly the point, right? they, they end up getting strangled but <laughs> going back to the case of where to answer the question no because he would try and stop it so it can stop shocking him. If it was going to, he would just transfer it to them. Because yeah. he's that, he's strong enough. I, I, Kakuzu's strong enough to do that, okay? Yeah. Like, so I'm just like... Yeah. <laughs> so, Ooh. no. Because of the gap, and because he was stopping it. That's my answer. Kunai at Kakuzu. So Kakuzu ends up dropping the two bumps to save himself. <laughs> the and two that bumps. Is Kakashi and Shikamaru rushing. And see, and see, look at him. He, see what I mean by strong dude though? Nigga just used the water and blocked the shit. He, to, to, at the water, nigga. So, <laughs> like... It, yeah, I get to save so, them. Now, mm -hmm. Kakashi and Shikamaru are mapping out what they should do next. And they eventually come to the conclusion that they need to split them up. Eno volunteers yeah. to take on the task you just of thought learning of that? away from Kakashi. <laughs> <laughs> like, that would have been my first. That's the first thing you should have thought of. And honestly, in a way, he knew he had to. That's why he had the setup. But, like, why did it take you so long to do it? <laughs> why do you guys think that for, wait, a, why wait, you think for a second? Wait, wait, yeah. That why do you think for a second and be like, you know what? I have this as my last last resort plan, but let's go with this plan first because this may work. 
Nah. Because y'all know you can kill Kakazu. You can't kill Hidon. That's why you ha- that's why you had that that set shit up. set up. So Let's why is it not na- stop hold on? I'll go get a spoon. Spoon? I want my yogurt. Oh. <laughs> Motherfucker. I want yogurt. <laughs> Okay, back. They may as well have just burst out laughing in her face because Shikamaru wasted no time shutting that weak ass idea down. You know good and well you couldn't handle that. Don't make me tally up everything you've done this fight. Because your Tony Snell ass stat line is not looking pretty. Out here averaging four screams and three gasps every fight. Please go sit down. Besides, Shikamaru ain't no wuss. This one's personal, so he knows he has to be the one to finish him off. Before he heads out to take care of business, Kakashi hands him something which he quickly puts in his pocket. And if you're like me, I know your nosy self was zooming into every pixel to see what was in his hand. But in the words of the legend, right? We were, we were. Shikamaru slowly walks towards them, then proceeds to blitz Hidon with his shadow possession jutsu. But Hidon quickly jumps out the way. Kakashi soon joins in on the action by jumping in front of Kakazu and attempting to slice him open several times. And after all these missed swings, Kakazu blocks Kakashi's blow, forcing him to drop the kuna. And now the two of them are really throwing hands. This that S tier hand to hand combat right here. Kakashi never disappoints. Even he don couldn't stop watching. That is until Shikamaru <laughs> tries to rush him with his shadows again. Everybody Kakashi just watch the game. Down there going, Look at this. For blowing the water. Chonkla's drenched as hell. But if the wet feet wasn't annoying enough, he done finally gets him with the leg sweep. But he misses with the right foot head stomp. He done tries to leg sweep him again, but Kakashi's not falling for that twice, so he jumps no. in the air. But Kakazu extends his symbiotic arm, grabs his ankle, smashes him into the ground twice, then throws him into a tree. He then rushes right towards him, and now Kakashi's fighting this man while walking backwards up a tree. Kakazu definitely had the upper hand. That is until Kakashi weaves this punch, then kicks him to the opposite side. Look at him, had that boy lost. Nothing is over there. Kakazu tries to recover by hitting him with a backhand, but Kakashi weaves it and kicks him off the tree. He teleports to him and tap dances on his pelvis for a second. Then he grabs him and hits him with a spinning brain buster into the ground. But sadly, it was spinning just brain a water buster. We then cut back to Hidon, and this man Shikamaru still got him running from his jutsu until he whips a chakra blade at him with one of his shadow stitches, forcing him to jump. But Little did Hidon know he had a second one to throw. So while he's in the air still, he whips the other chakra blade at Hidon's shadow. And from the looks of it, that man is cooked. There is no way he can recover from this. What is he gonna do? Jump in midair? We finally got his ass. Yeah, I was gonna this say man you're, really you're sight, you into the that. tree, then used it as a platform. I yes. can't even get that mad. This was low key cold. But right as I began to be lose, so way this to do man it. Shikamaru comes running up the tree, ready to punch the teeth out of his mouth. Yeah, that's what the f- I'm talking about. Who said my boy just a camper? He really may weather with this jump. The punch <laughs> does get blocked, but it doesn't matter because the shadow possession jutsu is now complete. So Shikamaru oh, wastes you, no time and sprints towards the forest. He eventually stops and starts throwing a you bunch of kunai. Dodged. Paper bombs Rather and strings than attached to the <laughs> But not too long after that, we see Shikamaru's shadow possession jutsu wear off. So, like the fiend he is, he done manically sprints over to Shikamaru with his rod withdrawn and slices his cheek open. <laughs> yeah! He the tip and begins his transformation. Yeah, now, this was awesome. about the time I was expecting Shikamaru's plan to kick in. But then we get this shot of his face, and my stomach immediately sank. Why does he look this worried? Is he cooked? Nope, because you know, if you know, if you've watched enough anime okay i know they do this stuff they try to do these things clean and all but if you watched enough anime and if you cut yourself enough like if you've cut like i i when you train you know you get cut like you know you see the lines you can tell if it's an actual cut to if it's not he's a ninja deception is uh everything and that's the next thing it's shikamaru so with that, I was like, when I first saw it, so that he didn't get cut. He that, it had to be on something. Nah, like I knew, I knew there was a plan. There was like something here. Can't just. I was like, there's no way he's go, he gonna get hit. There's like, no way. I was like, there's no way we gonna kill we gonna kill a Asuma and Shikamaru. And 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 in the case of where Shikamaru, he gets where, where he like, gets where, where it's showing too, just a little on the on the I was face. Like, yo yo yeah, yo. No. There's no they can't take out the two best people in the whole group. Like, leave the two idiots alone. <laughs> <laughs> You can't do that. Uh, <laughs> well, so you know, you know. For real? He done stabs his hand. <laughs> begins to draw his blood circle on the ground. And now his preparations are complete. He raises his rod in the air the same way he did to finish Asuma off. Then shoves that jump through his stomach. And that is Art. when Shikamaru <laughs> starts moaning and groaning. I almost shed a tear. Sounded just like Asuma. My impatient ass couldn't wait any longer. Let me know what the plan is before I tweak out. But no, my <laughs> (laughs) (laughs) which was not granted and this man falls to the
the ground. He done starts to let his guard down and begins to turn around to walk back to Kakazu. But before he could even fully take a step, Shikamaru gets up and slices his neck meat open. He realizes he didn't cut deep enough though, so he quickly restrains him with his shadow strangle jutsu. And this is when he explains his whole plan from start to finish. To put it into as little words as possible, Shikamaru fed heat on Kakazu's blood instead of his. Hence why Kakazu was clutching his chest like me after a Harvey's bacon cheeseburger combo with extra bacon instead of Shikamaru. It turns out the object that Kakashi passed him earlier was yeah. a blood sample from Kakazu that Kakashi managed to get earlier when he stabbed Kakazu with his lightning blade. Yeah. And to complete the last stage of their plan, Shikamaru put the blood on Hidan's blade and the rest was his. See, here's now, my thing. Impressive I'm sorry, but like, yo, honestly, 100% honestly, Phantom, if you a ninja, and if you like supposed to be some like missing ninja, you know, top grade, this, that, that, Akatsuki level, how you not know that you swung that thing and you didn't scratch him? You just, and it looks like a scratch, but you, like, you didn't feel, you didn't feel the contact or nothing? And that's the next thing about like, knowing. How, how? Yeah. But you, you a smart ass ninja, you, a, you yeah. a top grade ninja, but you didn't know that you didn't hit him. This is directed to our cousin because our cousin loves he done and he want, and we're, 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 we're on phone going on arguments and all this stuff going over these things yeah no it's great it's great this is this funny it's funny because <laughs> man's didn't know but you know yeah, it was he's, case. Too, he's too chaotic it's exactly as he said he's too chaotic he's too yeah. worried about like ah jashin jashin <laughs> you crazy ass mofo Man, but uh, <laughs> you deserve everything that came to you but then the next thing you want to say is that like oh he was supposed to have more more jutsu and he, it he, is he, true they, he, did, they did he did he did but like, get cut from from the build of what he was supposed to have. So uh, clearly, he wasn't popular enough. Like, no, they, they probably looked at it and be like, you know what, this man ain't got enough. We got to cut this. We got to cut this because this, we, we, uh, this is enough for the curse business. Along. We gotta move along. <laughs> Move along. As this was, in the words of Kobe Bean Bryant, job, job not, not finished. finished. I'm not giving him no props until that man is dead. And from the looks of it, it mm. seems like Hidan won't be put to rest just yet. Because he somehow manages to resist Shikamaru's shadow strangle jutsu. Then starts chatting his ear off about Lord Jashin while raising that rod to put it right through his back. But before he could finish sucking the skin off of Lord Jashin's Johnson, <laughs> Shikamaru sticks out his hand like PG hitting that half court three. Then hits him with his Miles Morales, nah, I'ma do my own thing ass ball he talking about some thanks anyway but i can save myself he then hits heat on with the shadow pole jutsu and now he's wrapped in all these paper bombs after making sure the cameraman secured the ig flick he throws his sword <laughs> at this marking in the ground and soon the ground begins to crumble below Hida. he continues to put on this tough guy act but his ego is quickly shattered when shikamaru tells him that only members of his clan are allowed in him so honestly it doesn't matter if he's eternal once you step foot in this forest they could watch you for eternity shikamaru yep. finally attempts to complete the last stage of his plan but he's unable to get awesome lighter to work that is until the ghost of asama taps shikamaru on his shoulder and says let's smoke on that heat on next lord joshin pack together and finally the lighter lights so shikamaru slowly walks over to heat and hits us with another pair of beautiful bars before tossing that lighter at his forehead it's the will of fire the will to protect our village what he didn't even take a step back, just straight watch the explosion happen right in front of his eyes. It doesn't get any more gangster than that. After basking in the moment for a bit longer, he walks over to the deep hole and sees Hidon's dismembered body at the bottom. But of course, this annoying ass pest is still alive. He's mm -hmm. still going on about Joshin this, Joshin that, but Shikamaru Joshin, puts Joshin. him in checkmate with this bar right here. Right now, the god you should be worried about isn't your stupid Joshin or anyone else. Mm -hmm. It's me. Because I'm the one who's about to pass judgment. Then he throws his paper bomb kunai into the hole, and as it explodes, all the rubble falls on top of him while he's still giving his Joshin speech. But the rubble finally settles, and our ears are met with a peaceful silence, thus marking the end of a legendary battle. Overall, a double S tier. Fight. Hey, what about Hidon and Kakashi? Boy, if you don't look that man <laughs> and had four more hearts left, his fight would have been a whole nother 20 minutes. And who computer I'ma edit that on? Cause I'ma tell you right now, the one sitting in front of me does not have the capacity. I don't okay, so yeah, yeah, that's good. That is good. So yeah, um Rose, Mr. Mr. Phantom and your love of the the buried fool. I don't know, man. He 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 could have done better. He 
He definitely could have done better, you know. Should have done better. But I'm not gonna lie though, like honestly, in that fight, this fight, oh um, it was a great building experience for Shikamaru. And it showed how much he developed and how much he matured all the way up until that point. And even after this fight, any fight you see him at a one-on-one fight or anything yeah. like that, like let's 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 break it down real quick, real quick, real quick. Uh Tamari, he gave up. Why? Because he's a lazy ass motherfucker. He's like, well, we we just this is practice. This is a tournament. I don't even care much about the practice. Wanted to didn't even want to be you here. Know? So he, he gave up. Yep. Then there was who? Uh what's her name? Uh, the flute lady? Yeah. From the sound from the sound four. Yeah. Um, I'm like flute lady. I don't know her name. Something. Like <laughs> something. <laughs> yeah, Tayuya. That's exactly right. And uh, look, he did the same thing he did with Mr. Jashin. He had he had he down all chopped up. He had Tayuya all chopped up. But the thing is, he needed someone to come bail his ass out because he didn't he didn't have no prep time. He didn't do nothing. This one shows that hey, I'm gonna do the same thing. But because I know how my jutsu works, let me just set 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 up a, an actual finisher with him. Yeah. Right. So like. It shows his progression. It shows his maturity. It shows, like, you know, this man's got some how he talent. Works, how he does. Brain, exactly. You know? But that's it for this reaction, guys. This is a long enough video. Again, like, nah. You guys have a good day, good night, whatever time it is you watch. Stay positive and smile. Remember to drink lots of water and just do something for yourself. Maybe something like back when you were a kid, you know. Bring out that smile, okay? Love y'all. You dark little check you then next time. Mwah. Peace out. Easy. Bye. Back in the battle, we hit in the lab. All of my niggas, we came up with jam. jam, jam, jam. And tell all my niggas, we came in a bar. And then other niggas, we never know how. Who's that nigga with the stomach out? Who's the niggas they gon' talk about? Baddest bitches, they don't run their mouth. Biggie Pocket, what you wanna buy?